What's going on guys? Aaron here with another video. I am feeling very festive today, not just because it's December, my favorite time of year, but because I've just completed an edit that was a Christmas themed drone video. Now, this is a really interesting video because it, the whole thing was shot indoors in one of Melbourne's largest shopping centers in the West. Yeah, that was a really interesting shoot. So this video, I want to kind of take you through a really high level view of how I edited the video. And then at the end, I'll show you the whole um, finished product. So let's start. First thing, the very, very, very first thing I'll do is start with the audio track. So once I determine what song I'd like to use, I drop that into the bottom of the timeline and make sure that I've set it to either 40 seconds, 45 seconds or 60 seconds. Now, after that, I slowly start looking through each of my footage, um, dropping it into the timeline because I'm editing on Final Cut Pro here. Um, unfortunately, they still have the magnetic timeline. So I had to drop a little black bar above it. So the editing workflow is a little bit like Premiere. Let's keep looking through all of my footage, dropping it into the timeline at various spots to make sure that it matches with the pace of the video and the music. Um, you'll notice a little bit of the, some colors on the timeline, the green and the blue. The blue is basically just me ramping up some of the clips. Uh, you'll notice when you see the finished product, that there's some ramps. Um, and also because I've filmed some shots inside really, really slow because I was either, you know, flying above a car or something like that. So I had to be really, really careful and also to keep in mind the framing and so on. Um, and then ramping it up in post-production will make it look like it's realistic or like in an actual normal movement. Then right towards the end, I start dropping in the graphics, the logos, um, all those kind of bits and bobs at the start and at the end making sure it flows quite nicely and there's a nice ending to it. Then I go back, tighten up a few tweaks here and there, um, start deleting all the crap that I don't like, and that's it, done. Time to go to bed. <laughs> so after, the, after I completed that whole video, um, I make sure in the morning I get up and go visit that edit again and just make sure everything makes sense. It's always good to have a break and come back to the edit because um, you'll be surprised, especially this was a late night edit, finished at about 1 a.m. Um, there's a lot of things I'll miss out or just skip over because I'm way too tired. Come back, do it in the morning. After I tighten it up, the very last thing I do is add color, which isn't seen on here. Color correct the crap out of it, make it look nice and Christmassy, then send it to the client and away you go. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That was a very high level, very quick process of my um, editing. And as promised, here is the final clip. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Merry Christmas, y'all.